Linda's Pantry, and today I am making that 22 quart stock pot full of chicken broth, bone broth goodness. So I have, um, I'm, I've already got the two chickens in there. I've got some chicken carcasses out in the garage that I'm going to bring in that are frozen. I've got, these are onions from my garden. Um, absolutely wonderful. I'm going to, I peel mine, it, you know, if there's any dirt on them at all, I get rid of that, but that one's good. Um, there's some that, yeah, we'll leave it, we'll leave it alone. So five onions, eh, small to medium, and a whole bulb of garlic, a bunch, a bundle of rosemary, a bundle of thyme, a, uh, about a third of a cup of um, apple cider vinegar to break the bone down and get all that good bone broth goodness out. Um, and I'm going to slow cook this all, well, it'll slow cook for, uh, till tomorrow. And at some point tomorrow, I will strain off everything and I'm going to can it this week. So, um, I will be putting it in the refrigerator after I strain it, uh, so I can get any of the excess fat off and I'll triple strain into that I have two small bundles of celery in there as well, and three large carrots. Um, it's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna go get those bones, and I just wanted, I wasn't gonna bring you along for this, but I am gonna bring you along for the canning. So we'll just kind of vlog through it, tell you what I've done, and when it's time to do the canning process, you'll be there. But I will, I'll probably bring you back tonight or tomorrow when I'm, well, not tonight, but tomorrow when I'm straining it off and letting you see this is what you get. And you can save that chicken fat if you want to. Um, if you're using organic free range chickens, definitely save that. That, um, that fat is good for almost anything. It's just as good as bacon fat. All right, guys. So I'm getting ready to do my live for my members only as well in about 10 minutes. And um, I just wanted to pop on and say hi. We're, I'm making a huge pot of uh, stock. And it's gonna be bone broth stock. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah, two big shallots in there. Two chickens, slow simmer. All right, guys. I can't wait to finish this up for you. We'll be back. Okay, guys, so this has had a chance to go for um, a full 24 hours, and now I'm going to straight. I got all the big um, carcass parts out, most of them anyway. Um, the big carcasses out of there. Um, oh, I just, um, anyways, and I'm, I decided I'm turning this into a prep a day, prep a day, can a day video because that's what I'm doing. I'm prepping this so I can refrigerate this, give any fat off of there, even though I'm gonna put it through the fat separator. And then I, I'll have it measured out. I'll know exactly how many jars I need. My jars are in the dishwasher, um, seven quarts, uh, one regular mouth, the rest are wide mouth. I'm gonna be using uh, four of the um, Tattlers uh, for this process, because I had them available. And I'll mark, right now um, I'll go ahead and mark each gasket with an additional mark these all have been used more than once this one that will be this will be the fifth time after this session the second second and then they're done and I know how many times that gasket's been used so here I'll give you a little close-up see the marks on it that tells me how many times it's been used. If it fails after it's been a few times, if it fails at all, I get rid of them. So I've got my, here, I'll bring you down so you can see. Okay, so I've got my lids, my bands, my fat separator, my, this is my jar lifter. I do not need a debubbler. Um, this is to get my tattlers out of the hot water because I will, I will pour, pour boiling water over all of these lids. I get a better seal if I do that. I don't care what the directions say anymore because I've tested it both ways and I get a better seal. So I've got these containers that you guys saw in one of my hauls. This holds four quarts up to here. 
So if I can get seven quarts in here, then I know I'm going in and I'll know exactly how many jars to have out. Um, hopefully I'll have a little extra because I'm making a chicken and dumplings tonight and I really want some of this. So let's get this started here. And um, I'm going to grab the, here, I'm going to put you on hold for just a second. Okay, I think I'm just about ready. So you want your stopper in when you're doing the fat separator and all this stuff has cooked down for so long, you know, everything, the skin's all flabby and ew, gross, but it's okay. It is delicious. I had a cup of this this morning um, for uh, my, my, instead of coffee, I had bone broth and I'm going to start drinking this because this had all the rotisserie bones and all the delicious stuff that you need. And, you know, I added the healthy herbs in here as well. And there is, there's a little fat cap on there. I just want to try to get as much off of there while I'm uh, doing this as I can. I don't, and I'm going to be canning this up after work tomorrow or the next day, but tomorrow you're going to see a different video because tomorrow is the beginning of November. And okay, so now you take your, your spout off and see it's got a layer, uh, the small layer of fat there. I'm going to pour this in and try to avoid getting that fat in there and I'll just dump, we'll go from there. This is still hot. I turned this off about two and a half hours ago but it's such a big pot that's a 22 quart pot and if some of the solids or any of that gets in there I'm, I'm gonna be okay with that I'm gonna go ahead and dump out the solids into the trash I'm gonna grab a container for the uh, fat that I do and the, you know and the herbs and stuff like that right okay Okay, so I've got four four quarts ready to go. This thing is very steady on here. Yeah, I want to make sure it stays put because this is hot. And yeah, I'll just I'll scoop it in. So I'm gonna pass it through the sieve now, and any extra solids that might be there. I I don't have any cheesecloth. I've got that mesh. But I think this is going to be fine. This is a pretty fine mesh strainer. It's going to catch any of those herbs that I didn't, that went through. And I'm seeing them getting caught right now. I want the broth pretty clear. I don't mind if it has those flavors because that's how I cooked it, you know. I put it in there for a reason. But there's little, you know, bits and pieces of celery and stuff that shreds off the veggies. So I'll show you. Whoa. And in we go. Yep. That's what I was afraid of. So we'll see if I can pour this slowly without making that fall in. Oh yeah, look at me go. Okay. So then I'll be happy. We've got four quarts and I'm not even halfway done. It's going to be a big serving or a big batch. Okay, so as you can see, there's some stuff in there. Hopefully you can see that. That is all that I did not want in my broth. Now you could do this a couple times or run it through cheesecloth at this point, but I'm not going to. I think we're good. And I'm gonna put the, let this cool uh, um, before I put it in the refrigerator because it's still really warm, <laughs> like really warm. In fact, I'm gonna set it aside on a cutting board because I don't like hot things on my counter. Um, because of the quartz. So but look how rich that broth looks. Isn't that beautiful? I'm super excited. So uh, I'll and I go and I'll be back to show you some more. All right guys, so I am done straining this off. This one had a little bit more sediment in it. So when I put it, this is the one I'm gonna put in my soup um, for the most part. So I don't mind it having a little more, but for canning purposes, I really want that broth clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain it one more time. I'll probably strain it through a tea towel, just so I make sure I get all of that off of there, out of there. I want a really clear broth. So um, for the second container in this one, I actually 
went straight from the fat separator through the sieve. And, and it, it did get a lot of the little particles out of there. But like I said, this one I still feel like we got some. They're trying to settle to the bottom right now. Um, most likely just spices and stuff like that that's small enough to go through the sieve because there was a lot in, you know, settled in the bottom of the pot. So I'll, I'll strain that off again and we will have um, the best chicken and dumplings. So I hope you guys stay tuned for the chicken and, chicken and dumplings as well as my November video. And you will, honestly, you will see this after the November video. Um, you'll see, or no, you'll see the second half, the canning part after you'll see this one, then my November, then the canning and or the chicken and dumplings <laughs> somewhere in there. It's going to be skipped. There's going to be one skip between. So, I, and I may not can this t tomorrow. So I was able to put these, uh, the lids upside down and get them up off my counter and um, just so they can sit here and cool. As soon as they're done cooling down, then we'll, we'll get, um, get them in the refrigerator. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you next time. I'm so excited that I got almost, almost 11 quarts. So a good healthy 10 and a half quarts anyway of um, stock, because this one isn't quite to three and neither one of these are quite to the four. So um, just because I don't want them that full. Yeah. I want to be splashing around. So there you go. I'll um, I'll can this up as soon as I can, and we'll see you next time for another Canada Prep Day. Out of the Canada.